thing I, I would look for in a founder is do they have sort of the personality traits that would allow them to build this for the long term. You know, the best founders are the ones who, who uh, want to build their companies for life. And so if you look at, you know, Google, if you look at Amazon, if you look at Microsoft, if you look at Facebook, all the founders of all those companies uh, have that company. That's it. That's their, that's their life's work. My name is Lee Jay and I work at GSV. We focus on uh, accelerating, investing, and advising some of the fastest growing companies uh, in the world. And our goal is ultimately to help these companies become uh, the most enduring businesses in the world. So we've been lucky enough to invest in companies like Facebook and Twitter, uh, Dropbox, Spotify, Lyft. Uh, some of the great companies that have come out of Silicon Valley in the last few years. I think Silicon Valley is uh, is still going to be the leader in a lot of the uh, industries in technology. I think that it's it's very strong in consumer facing products. It's very strong in a lot of areas, but there are probably some there's probably some very highly technical areas that, still, that other places might be better than Silicon Valley. But what Silicon Valley is really good at is taking ideas to commercialization and taking ideas to the market and, uh, you know, scaling up ideas. You know, when you come to Silicon Valley, it's really about the culture that has been shaped over, you know, the many past many, many years. I mean, if you look back to as early as the gold rush in California, the people that came to this area were the misfits and the people who were seeking out a new life. Uh, who didn't feel like they may have fit in on the East Coast or the Midwest or somewhere else in the country. And they all moved over to California to explore what's new. And so I think from a very long time ago, that culture and that mentality of taking risks, being adventurous, uh, exploring what's new, and you know, it's, it's really funny because the gold, mining gold in 1849 is not all that different from today's Silicon Valley where people are coming here and looking for opportunities to make a huge impact. Maybe they're not looking for purely money, but they're looking for a small probability to make a massive impact on the world. And, and that mentality continues to this day. I think people are going to continue to come to Silicon Valley. It's network effects, right? It's, you know, Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, network effects is the ninth wonder of the world. It creates such a powerful attraction that uh, as more and more talented people flow to, to Silicon Valley and this ecosystem, it becomes more and more valuable. It becomes exponentially more valuable and it attracts even more talent flowing into the system. And so it's a very good positive loop. Uh, and I think other cities are starting to build that positive cycle. You know, I would say if you look at New York 10 years ago, it wasn't nearly as entrepreneurial friendly. There weren't nearly as many startups getting significant customer traction. Uh, but now, today, I think you're seeing lots of areas where, you know, people are flocking to New York City, for example. And this is happening in Beijing. This is happening in uh, Seattle. This is happening in Austin. This is happening in a lot of other places around the world that we call the Global Silicon Valley, which is our name, right, GSV. So it is very exciting to see the ecosystem effect taking place in other places around the world.